Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to review or well, compare Dollar Tree crayons versus Crayola. So at the Dollar Tree I found these, Sergeant Art. So these are newer. I haven't seen these really at Dollar Tree before, so I grabbed them, picked them up. Then you have the Dollar Tree brand Jot. So you get a, yeah, 48 crayons for $1.25. Is it worth it? We'll see. And of course, classic Crayola. So you really can't go wrong. And there's a reason for that, I think. So this was from like Target or something because you can't find a, a big box like this. You can't find Crayola at Dollar Tree, but they're usually really small. Even smaller than this, usually. So usually like 16 or 8 crayons. But we're going to compare them on a like a Star Wars coloring thing with three stormtroopers. We'll do blue, put on each one so you can see the difference and how they go on, how much like force you have to use, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So let's check it out. So we're gonna see the difference between the Jot brand, this is a Dollar Tree brand, I guess. Sergeant, I saw a Dollar Tree recently, and classic Crayola. I can already tell you these are bad. <laughs> I never used this one, these are terrible. Uh, along with Play School, which you might find in Dollar Tree, really just not good. So we'll probably do these three stormtroopers. We'll just do looks like everyone has blue, so we'll do we'll do blue. So I'm gonna jot here. That looks more purple. Shot. Well, let's do it first. So I'm gonna get them mixed up. So here is the job blue. Do this far guy. Now to his legs here. Make them all one color. Hmm. So, not the worst, I guess. Not great, though. <clears throat> Let me finish them off. So, we'll do the helmet and legs and compare how they look. All right. So, this guy is Jot. We'll do Sergeant Blue next. Let's see if I can get as close as possible. Yeah, it's about the same. It's a little darker, but I think that's too light. Yeah. So this is deep blue. That's already feels better. So this one fills in a bit better, like that one's kind of lots of spotches. But you have to keep going back over, it's very annoying. Helmet here. So it's definitely lighter, but I think it looks better than this mess. So that's the sergeant. This is better than I thought it would be. And classic Crayola. So we need a blue that matches those. So it's probably this guy, I think. Mm. 
blue. No, he's blue green. No. So darker blue. So pretty dark. Maybe that's that one. I think I like metallic crowns, so I want to do the regular ones, so not the special kind. I'm trying to find a blue that matches a little bit better than that. But anyway, these are the blues you get. So this is a standard blue for Crayola. We'll use that anyway. Right? This, this. Yeah, this one. Right. Pretty quick, not too much spotching. Helmet. So, shot's pretty bad. This sergeant is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Um, as far as like going on really easy, like that helmet looks good. Maybe even better than the Crayola. So, Sergeant Art is now at the Dollar Tree. So I saw a couple of these boxes, grabbed one. Uh, the Crayola one, I probably did get a Target because you don't have big boxes like that. The Crayola, they usually have like eight packs and stuff like that. So, this is a fine buy, it seems like. Uh, always get Crayola. Over this thing, shot's pretty terrible. It's very waxy, I guess. It's, like it takes forever to fill in. Whereas these guys, this looks better when you fill them in. Yeah, but this the blue dog looks good. This Sergeant Crayon, uh, you know, won me over there. This one's a little bit deeper, but then again, it's a little darker blue. So it's a standard cradle blue. Couldn't find an exact match. This is their blue. It comes in this. And not bad. So you have Crayola, Sergeant, Jot. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.